Bound with her. My mom takes the video. <laughs> Dale Colby of Stetler, Alberta will have Elbert David Fox Custom Solids Bailing. And on the number one barrel, Len Campbell of Sheldon Lake will have Clear View Glass. In yellow, Fred Eagles pulls in on four. Jake Van Ringen on three. In black, Dale Colby will have him in red on two. And Len Campbell in white on one. Heat number one, let's have some fun for Pinoca Co-op Oils. The horn and they're off as they thunder to the top of the figure eight in night number one of the all-pro Canadian Chuck Wagons and they're quick on the number one barrel, Len Campbell. Clear view glass, clearly gets out there, looks to steal that rail away from Fred Eagles and Mutt Creek Medics running back in third place right now. Dale Colby and Albert David Fox Custom Silage and the trailer of all of the action, Jake Van Ring and an old McDonald campground as they point him into that backstretch run, running too wide to the outside. Fred Eagle and Mutt Creek Medics to the inside of him, a horse length back, desperately hanging on to that rail position. Len Campbell, clear view class, now back in third place, overtaking that. We pick up Jake Van Ring and an old McDonald campground. And to the inside of him, Dale Kobe. Into that third turn they go. And now that rail position is handily paying off for Dale Kobe. To the outside of him, Fred Eagles and Mud Creek Medics as they go into that fourth and final turn. Pinocchio make a little noise for the Wagon Boys. Len Campbell and Clearview Glass to the inside, to the outside of him challenging Fred Eagles, Mutt Creek Medics with 150 feet to go. Here they come. Len Campbell, Clearview Glass. Back comes Mutt Creek Medics. It is going to be Fred Eagles, Mutt Creek Medics, and Noah's ahead of Clearview Glass. Jake Van Ringen pulls in in third. And the trailer 